Okay, let's do uh, some structures here really quick. It's been a little while. I think it's been like a week since I uploaded, so I wanted to <coughs> do something here really kind of different. Uh, last week, I think I did some like class work, and this week I'm going to take a step back and we'll talk a little bit about structures. And they're not anything much to shake a stick at. A lot of times they're not really used all that much. Um, it's kind of like a lower level class, if you will, just kind of holds some simple data information. You can kind of view them like, uh, if you're used to other languages, they're kind of like a really basic, basic, basic model, if you will. Uh, they can only have certain types of properties. And, uh, uh, so you'll see that here really quick. Um, first thing we need to do, like always, is we need to uh, include our, include, yikes, our IO stream. Uh, I'm going to include our string because we're going to be using that today. Include. And I'm also going to be using namespace. SD. Okay. The standard namespace. Uh, Alright, so let's, so how do you declare a structure? Well, uh, up in the top here, and structures can be properties of classes too. This is just an example. They can belong to anything, but this is just a standalone class. So, I you declare one is you just say struct. You can see it pops up here. Um, and uh, <laughs> and it already I didn't know I was going to do that. Uh, it just inserted a bunch of stuff for us, but we'll, we'll just run with it. Uh, make the video a little bit shorter here, then everybody will be happy. Um, so yeah, it just created a structure. And mine did that by default. This can be called whatever you want. Uh, this just named it my struct, um, and that's fine. And then in between these, <sighs> oh man, I'm gonna start calling this the yawning channel because I yawn all the time because it's so damn early in the morning I do these. All right. So yeah. So struct my struct, and then uh, we got two curly braces here, right? And I'm just going to give this a value. I'm going to say va uh, int data. <coughs> I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm just going to leave maybe just that one field. And we can add more fields as we go. Um, that's why we're going to use the string. Um, let's see. Okay, so we have our struct, my struct. And you'll notice one thing about classes. If you, if you know this already, uh, uh, you can apply this to your knowledge. If you don't, uh, just You'll learn about it here uh, in one of the class videos, but you'll notice that I cannot use a modifier uh, f even for this struct um, just because it's in the uh, main method. If this was in a class, you could use the modifiers for it, but you cannot use a modifier for a property of a structure. This will never, this this here will never work. You cannot tell uh, for a structure that you want a piece of a property to be public or private. It is always public, so that's one thing to know. Um, all right, so yeah, so let's declare a struct, my struct, and we'll just call it struct, uh, or we'll call it, uh, we will call it home structure. I want that. I'm at home right now, so that's a good thing. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, let's let's set our data because let's try let's try printing it out so data from our from our structure equals uh, and let's say home structure dot data and uh, yeah let's run this and let's see what happens here what is it gonna do start without be debugging or just control f5 Ooh, uh, we got a fun little build error, and nope, I don't want to build it. C out is an undeclared modifier. Okay, and let's see, warning out stream skipped when looking for precompile header use. Oh, that's because, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I forgot to uncheck my precompile header. That's okay. Um. I'm going to leave it at that. Is that still going to bother it, or do I need to rebuild a... Uh, I do need to build, rebuild a one really quick. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to copy all this. File new project. Working with structures. Main console 32 application.
Okay. So now let's now let's try this. Uh, okay, so there you go. So uninitialized local variable home structure used. So it has uh, this here saying that this is not used. It's not initialized. And that would be because the data <sighs> data part is not initialized. So we need to initialize that. So let's say home structure dot data equals 10. I'm just going to say that for now. I'm going to say sets the data structure data for the, or sets the value. All right. Going to start without debugging. And there we go. Now it's working. See what happens here? Uh, so data from our structure. Structure, I spelled structure wrong. Is equal to 10. So you can see, yeah, data from structure is equal to 10. So that's just uh, a little uh, piece of property for this structure. So let's just... Um, Let's give it a name. I'm going to say uh, string and uh, data name. And let's give it a name. Let's say uh, let's say home structure. Notice I have to type home structure every single time. And I'm using dot, not the uh, not the arrow, because we're not these are not pointers necessarily. So I'm going to set the data name to uh, my struct data and this can be anything you want again I'm just doing things to make simple uh, little examples all right so I'm going to actually get rid of this and I'm going to say I'm gonna leave it like that and in between here and here I'm going to set my data name uh, my structured data is equal to home.data. And I'm going to start without debugging. And there we have it. So my struct data, I want to close, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do either. Well, uh, my council went away. Did it go away? No, there it is. See, it's there. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so we have our, it printed out, my struct data is equal to 10, and that's true. So, yeah, this is just kind of like a really basic example of structures. There isn't that much to it. I mean, um, you, can't, you can't add methods or anything like that, like you can a class. It can only contain properties. So, it's really good if you are passing and returning variables and data uh, between like tables and everything like that because you don't need a large you don't need a large complex um, object like a class you you might just want something simple like a structure and these are a little bit friendlier because everything is already defined as public it's you can already access it really quickly you can make arrays out of these so uh, so yeah so that's uh, I think going to conclude this right now, and uh, if you have any questions, just uh, comment in the uh, bottom section. Thanks for watching.